Hey guys, Fajima 101 here. We are back and we are taking part in the International Challenge. So this took part of this weekend, just gone breaking fourth wall there. Um, I've got five of the six matches we'd like to show you. I forgot to click save on the one of them, unfortunately, we'd have all six. Um, won't spoil the results for you guys, but as you can say, this was our first matchup. Um, we're going against Duda Cruz, he's bringing with him pretty much what you tend to see as standard now, with particularly exception of the Aerodactyl, though we do tend to see it in BGC this year. Um, he's bringing with him Feromosa, Aerodactyl, Arcanine and Tapu Koko. Uh, as you can see, we've got a couple of new team members. One of them makes an appearance in this matchup. Um, we have got bringing with us our Tapu Finney, Play-Doh and Murk here in our Mudstyle, and Tiamat our Salaman. So we'll jump straight into the matchup for you. So I thought we'd have some dramatic music for our first matchup. Um, this sound, this song's absolute fire. I love it. So Duda Cruz is going to open up with Pheromos and Aerodactyl. So Pheromosa is a bit of a problem for us. Um, these things have sweated me before. Um, but I've got so we opened with Finian Muck, which I think was probably the right lead based on the fact that Pheromosa was probably going to rock up. Um, we're going to get Misty Surge off, so we can't mistake us, which is handy. Um, so what we're going to do this turn is we're going to actually protect with Muck, predicting a high jump kick or something from, big from the Pheromosa. Um, and we're just going to Dazzling Gleams, it's super effective. We actually see he's going to hit his Z move, which is going to be all out pummeling. So he's going straight for the turn one overkill KO straight off the bat. Um, he is going to target down Muck, so we definitely made the right prediction here. He really wants, wants Muck gone. Um, I think he knows that Muck can pretty much wall his Tapu Koko, so uh, Muck's going to take that like a boss with that Protect and not get too much damage off. Uh, we can take a bit, but that's fine. Um, Aerodactyl's going to go for a taunt. Obviously, our Aerodactyl's on the field as well because we know we can't hit our Figgy Berry, so we kind of need to clear this thing as quick as we can. Uh, we get a Dazzling Gleam off. That is going to one-shot the Pheromosa into next week, though. It was a crit. I don't think it mattered. Pheromosa is not particularly bulky at all. It's fairly weak, to be fair. So, um, Tapu is going to come back out. Um, we're going to get Electric Surge going off. Um, so I figured he'd put more than likely of a T-Bot into Finny. So we're going to switch Finny out and go into Mudstar because we can get a nice free switch in here. I wasn't 100% sure what this Aerodactyl wanted to do. Um, but we see Aerodactyl's actually going to go for Sky Drop, which is a really good play on his part. It means we won't be able to get a Poison Jab off onto Tapu Koko this turn. Um, he does go for a Vault Switch though, so Mudstar's going to stay, which is really good news for us. Um, he actually switches out Tapu Koko this turn and goes out into the Arcanine. Uh, we're going to get the Intimidate drop on the um, Amwood Star, which isn't great, but we can manage with that, that's fine. We're not particularly bulky anyway. Sky Drop's going to drop um, Muck down, it's going to do a good chunk of damage. We're not going to trigger Berry because of our nerves gone. Um, we do get a Poison Jab off into the Coco slot, but there's an Arcanine in there now, so it isn't going to do too much. At least we don't get Intimidated, and we do get the Poison, which is really good news for us. Uh, Mud Star's going for a Heavy Slam. We targeted down Aerodactyl to only get off the field so I can access my berry. Um, it just lives, unfortunately, that turn, but we are just going to kick Shadow Sneak this turn and take out the Aerodactyl. Um, and then we should be able to... So, sorry, we're going to protect this turn, uh, and then we are just going to um, block the incoming Stone Age. So, yeah, he definitely wants Mudstyle uh, gone. Arcanine's going to Flare Blitz into Mudstyle. Um, is it Bandit? Might be banded. Uh, it did quite a lot. We're max hit points, max defense, and that was resisted. So um, it's going to take some recoil damage and poison. We're just going to high horse parry it straight into the arc line though and pick up the KO. Uh, as we see Coco come back out. So. Uh, as we get a Shadow Sneak off on the Aerodactyl, I figured we would probably lose. Um, Mudstar this turn, we do score a crit, crit did not matter that low, definitely not. Um, I figured we'd lose Mudstar anyway this turn, and it means we can eat our berries, so I'm not going to have a nice munch on that. So, um, we actually just went for... Um, we just take Dazzling Glee, Muck is going to live that like a boss now because of the berry. It's going to take, Mudstar actually lives that on 18, which I was really surprised with. Uh, as we go for a Heavy Slam, which is super effective I believe. No, neutral. Is it neutral? It's still move fairy, or maybe it's the electric typing. Um, Coco's going to go for another Dazzling Gleam, which is going to polish us off. Um, to be fair, I didn't want to risk a miss with a high horsepower as well, I just wanted some damage off on Coco, because Muck this turn will just Poison Jab it and kill it for us. So, Poison Jab is a two-hit KO. 
Um, it's going to just miss picking up the Kai that turn, but we can live whatever this one wants to do. And we've got Finn in the back as well. So um, it looks like we're pretty much set for our first win. Mr. Surge is going to kick in there as electric terrain's gone. Uh, we are going to protect with Finny just for GG's in case he decides to target us down with a T ball or something. And we're just going to click Poison Jab with Muck to tie up our game one. So Play Doh coming through for us again in this matchup. Uh, and some great work put in by uh, Mudstyle as well. We very nearly, I very nearly dropped out the team actually before we went onto this. but. Um, with all the type of Coco's running around, it's in rugby to be able to keep him. So we win our first game with the International Challenge. Um, Gigi there to do the cruise. Um, Ferrimosa could have been a massive problem for us, so really glad how we managed to do that quite early doors. Hope you enjoyed the matchup, guys. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, make sure you sub for more content. There are some more International Challenges coming up semi-regularly throughout the week, so um, hopefully you'll be seeing most of these go up pretty soonish. And remember, guys, if I don't see you around, I will see you on Battle Spot. Take care for now. Bye.